good evening guys we are back with another video on beyond the post and the topic is another one related to arsenal because i love arsenal and i'm a gooner so and the topic that we have right now in our hand is one that every arsenal fan wants to know about i mean this is a question that raises a lot of curiosity amongst the fans though there may be the answer may be quite clear by now to some but others are still wondering what could be the eventual answer to this question the question is will mikel arteta sign thomas party or jose moar yes this has been a question that a lot of arsenal fans are wondering what could be the arsenal to answer to not the arsenal do but the answer to and yes we may have this answer based on what we have heard so far so mikel arteta has been the game cha- changer for arsenal fc due to his brilliance as a manager the team and players have responded finally well really well to the former arsenal skipper and yes it is evident on the pitch in the level of performances that they have been putting right through since the time the football restarted project restart has been really good for arsenal fc and the gunners are loving every moment of it along with the gunners of the pitch as well and a lot of good highly skilled players have been signed so far however there is a clear need for more midfield reinforcements yes that is correct because the midfield is still lacking the reinforcements have been defensive william saliba gabriel an attacking option in the form of william one midfielder who returned was danny sabayos and the last player that also came in apart from them was george lewis with apart from cedric and pablo mari already being signed at the start before the start of the window now Mikel Arteta is in the market for more such players at the moment. The likes of Thomas Party from Atletico Madrid and Jose Moar from Lyon have been linked with the Gunners. We all know what is going on in the transfer window. The fans are curious. Now, the main question is, we have the money from the Martinez sale and the fact that we have gotten rid of Lucas Torreira which is just about to be announced, but the recent rumors suggest that Arsenal can only sign one of these top players, one of these top midfielders. Yet the question on everyone's mind is which one will it be and that is the main question that we will doubt we will be trying to clear here so let me get into the details thomas party currently aged at 27 his nationality is ghana his current club is atletico madrid he plays in the la liga but he has been injured in the build up to the recent season though i think he's fit now he was struggling towards the end of last season and that is why he was eliminated he was not in the playing 11 for atletico madrid when they faced off in the champions league where they ended up losing so that is about thomas pare and thomas moar he's younger he's 22 years old he's way younger than thomas pare but his nationality is french he's from france and his club currently is lyon the league one side lyon he's algerian by origin as well but at the end of the day his nationality is france he's played for the france under 21 side and he is a different player than thomas party and i'll tell you why the difference between the two players is quite significant party is a more defense minded ball playing midfielder on the other hand he is a ball carrier on the other hand or is a more attack minded creative player so the fact of the matter is that or likes to push forward and party is a better defense minded player he is better defensively so these are some attributes that distinguish the two and uh, they both have their advantages and their disadvantages at the end of the day it will be up to mikel arteta to finally decide which player he wants but what do we think the club has the money the club now has the money to sign either one the payment for party needs to be up front due to his release clause however or can be paid for in parts that is the story that is going around doing the rounds thomas party's release clause is 43 million pounds so they need to pay that up front if they want him or is a bit costly but at the end of the day as i said his payment can be done in parts that gives them an added edge and that ensures that they can pay for him long term which will be the player that mikel arteta will sign next based on the current stories we are beyond the pay- post think it will be indeed or arteta has already been expressing his admiration for the frenchman in recent times so let's now wait and watch what will happen now 
we need to wait and watch will it indeed be or who's coming to arsenal based on the current stories and the recent rumors that are going around do you agree with our pick for arsenal's next midfield signing will it be one of these two or someone else do you feel there could be someone else that could be coming to arsenal do let us know in the comments below what do you think don't forget to like and share this video subscribe to the channel if you are new and keep following us for more content on the beautiful game because stone cold sets out